undergrad in pursuit of an MD. I'm highly intrigued with ketosis as a remedy for chronic disease. How many physicians actually look at ketogenic therapy to reverse chronic illness? Very small percentage now, under 10%, on, probably under 5%. Definitely under 5%. But it's growing. And that's the important thing is because this 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 is evidence-based medicine. And you know, you're going to be taught in medical school to practice evidence-based medicine. The the caveat to that is that what people consider evidence-based medicine is whatever the hell they were taught in medical school and residency, because of course they wouldn't be taught it if it wasn't evidence-based and if it wasn't the best that the evidence had to offer. And that's not actually true. So you need to do the, the research yourself. You need to look at these studies. The, the ketogenic diet is the most rigorously studied diet bar none. It is the only diet that has that has the volume and quality of studies in it. So that the sheer mass of randomized controlled human trials, looking at ketogenic diets for specific medical outcomes with discrete endpoints. And uh, even comparing to the DASH diet, a low fat, high carb diet, whole food diets, a vegetarian diet, a um, Mediterranean diet, these sorts of things, it beats them head to head. For specific things, for weight loss, sure, but also for treating Parkinson's, for treating Alzheimer's, for treating diabetes, for treating all these other sorts of things as well. So that is the literature, that is the evidence base, and you are not going to be told that, not yet anyway. There are residency programs coming out at uh, USC, for example, uh, with Dr. Um, it Dr. Ludwig. Maybe someone can help me with that. Um, he maybe it's not Ludwig. Damn it. Anyway, it's with an L. He's down at USC. And he's starting a residency program for like metabolic health and, um, you know, a metabolic medicine sort of uh, sort of approach. And um, um, you know, functional medicine, this sort of thing, you know, they, they understand these things more that there are there's more to the literature than what you were spoon fed at medical school. So you can find this stuff. You can find this stuff yourself. And so any any condition, so diabetes, for example, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, just Go to PubMed or go to Google Scholar. Actually, PubMed is a bit more curated. So you have to, it's sort of like a boys' club. Like it, they, they actually will exclude um, certain things out of there that they don't want in that body of information. So that can be a bit misleading. Google Scholar is a bit better. And it's a, sort of a better search engine for these studies. It, you, you'll get more studies that way. So um, Google Scholar, and it's, it's available to everybody. You don't need a subscription or anything like that. So I would go with Google Scholar. Um, for a lot of these things, uh, or I wouldn't omit it anyway. You find look on PubMed, but also look on Google Scholar. You, you'll you'll find other things as well. Um, and um, so go on there and just put in whatever you're looking for: Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, polycystic kidney disease. You know that those studies have been done sh too, showing that in in mice at least they can actually reverse polycystic kidneys with a ketogenic diet. Um, I interviewed a, a researcher who did that, Professor Thomas Wimes down at UC uh, Santa Barbara. And so, you know, now they're trying to get that into human trials. And there's anecdotally people trying this going ketogenic carnivore and actually improving it or reversing their polycystic kidney disease. That's anecdotal. That's not, that hasn't been a study to, to show how many do this if, if it's not just background noise. Um, but, you know, that that's out there. But there are so many human trials as well. So you just put these things out there and, and you'll see a lot. I mean, there are thousands and thousands and thousands of human trials, human randomized controlled trials, and probably 10 times that in animal studies as well. So that is a huge body of literature that I found um, that, um, that, that no one ever told me about uh, at any point during my, my education. Um, most was, uh, someone was saying that it might be Dr. Robert Lustig at UC. No, it's not Dr. Robert Lustig. It's, it's a different one. It's specifically a different one. It's he Lustig was at UC San Francisco and he does a lot of the fructose thing. This is a different guy. Um, he wrote a, a different book. Um, and, uh, it's, uh, but it's with an L and he's down at, at UC, uh, USC specifically, not UCSF. So it's a different guy. So not, not Lustig, um, could even be like Lustig. It's very close to Lustig. Um, but yeah, so that's what I would do. And, um, but it's growing, it's growing. And there's, there's organizations, um, there's like, you know, ketogenic metabolic 
health commissions, things like that in America. I don't know what, the, what it's called exactly. Here in Australia, there's a group, um, the low carb down under group. Um, and that's a, that's a group of doctors that's run by clinicians and physicians and, um, you know, nutritionists and dietitians and physios and all that sort of stuff are all part of that. And so you can, so people can find that and go to that website, lowcarbdownunder.com.au if you're in Australia and you can actually find a low carb or even carnivore practitioner in your area. And there's a lot of them. Hey guys, just want to take a second to thank our sponsor at Carnivore Bar. I don't promote many products because honestly, all you need to be healthy is to just eat meat. For those times that you're out hiking, road tripping, or stuck at work and you want a nutritious snack that is just meat, fat, and salt if you want it, the Carnivore Bar is a great option. So I like this product not because it's just pure meat, but also because I want the carnivore market to thrive as well. And the more we support meat-only products, the more meat-only products there will be available in the mainstream. So if this sounds like something you'd like to get behind, Behind. Check it out using my discount code Anthony to get 10% off, which also applies to subscriptions, giving you 25% off total. All right, thanks guys. Oh, and I was going to say too, I have um, some of the people have have signed up for my new uh, YouTube membership. I've just started doing that. Um, sort of being people asking me about it enough that I finally said, okay, let's let's just do. It. So yeah, so thank you to everybody who has signed up for my YouTube memberships. Um, some of them are here, so I really appreciate that. Um, if people do want to sign up for that, we'll be releasing, um, do early releases for my videos. And um, we'll have other uh, sort of perks and features as well. And um, for one of the tiers, uh, you know, we'll, I'll be doing um, some videos, you know, just for them, some, you know, more updates, different thoughts that won't be as um, necessarily all the polished sort of videos and things like that with all the editing and things like that, but just sort of my thoughts on different things. You know, if I just sort of come up with something and just say, Hey, I just want to get this, get this off my chest. I'll put that out there and put those videos on there for people. And, um, and then also uh, I'll be doing, uh, some extra live, uh, Q and A's just for members as well. So if people want to join that, they are more than welcome to, if not, then, you know, my other videos are going to be you know, completely available all the time, just sort of on a delay. Um, and then I'll still be doing lives as well, but I'll just do extra ones for the, just for the the members as well. So um, if people want to join that, then then we can do that. And we'll have obviously a, that, um, you know, members only chat are in there as well. So people can talk and converse in that sort of community also, sort of like how people do here during the live, they can sort of catch up and talk to each other sort of on an ongoing basis as members as well. So if that's something that interests you then, uh, and you'd like to support me and the channel and, and help me, um, do more, do more content then you know, you're very welcome to join and love to have you there get worse, but definitely pasture raise is what you want to do because they're not being, well, they're not going to be fed as much of this garbage. They're at least out on grass where they have access.